Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to week 16, my Wednesday message. I am here at the beautiful QI Tower, our symbol of success of being the greatest freaking network marketing company on the planet, guys. It's 2024. All right, 2024 is the year that we define who we are in this industry. All right, that we have finished a journey of 25 years. And as Dato Sri Vijay told me, this is not the 26th year of QNET. This is the first year of the next 25 years. And I'm super excited because in a few weeks, I'll be meeting all of you at the unstoppable VCon in Penang. Now, I don't know who you are. If you haven't made up your mind to come to VCon, please go to a psychiatrist and check mentally whether you are stable because every answer you seek, every solution you are seeking and you want to max out, then you will find your answers. You will get your click only at VCon. All right. So speak to your uplines. Make sure you complete your registration for VCon and you get to see the great ones. Japadas Bismarck and the one and only Dato Sri Vijay Ishwan live at the most magnificent VCon. And this is not a regular VCon. This is the first VCon of the next 25 years of our journey of conquering the industry of network marketing. So I want to see you at VCon, guys. Now, this Wednesday, I want to talk about the enemy. All right? Um, every time you're on this journey, not only of network marketing, and this applies to the brand new people listening, to everyone who's been on this journey and those who are maxing out, all right? We always tend to look at life as though we have enemies out there. And the enemies can be the media, can be our relatives, can be our government, can be the competitors in the industry, can be Google search, can be um, prospects who say no or unhappy downlines or whatever. But I have come to realize the past 25 years of being a downline and student of Dato Sri, if there's one lesson I take back. There are no enemies. There is nobody and nothing that can stop you from achieving what you want to achieve in life, in every aspect of life, not only network marketing, right? Because we tend to fall into this trap of using our supposed enemies as an excuse for our inability to achieve success. Whether you say it's the wrong market, it's the wrong time, or products are too expensive, or this market doesn't understand network marketing, or network marketing is too uh, overused uh, in this market. All of this is complete bull sugar. All right? One lesson I learned when I used to go to Dato Sri Vijay, sit down, counsel with him, basic building block number seven, sit down at the feet of his chair, all right, and ask him, why is this happening? Oh, that's a problem. This is a problem. That is a problem. That is a problem. All right. And he taught me a great lesson. And I want you to listen very carefully. Everything that you believe is holding you back from achieving great success. Let's call it the enemy. You created that enemy. You gave it a name. You empowered the problem as a hurdle to your success. It did not exist before. It only started to exist as you empowered it. You started thinking about it. You rationalized in your mind that this is the reason why I'm not successful. I remember once there were some people who were pissing me off or irritating me. And I told that to see... You know, Anand, these enemies of mine are really giving me a hard time. He said, how did they become your enemies? I said, well, they're my enemies. They, they, they're trying to stop me. They're trying to slow me down. They're trying to distract me. They're trying to give me a hard time. He said, but who called them the enemies? I said, well, I don't know. And he looked at me and said, Patman, you created them. They existed for the longest time in your life. And you, in the moment of weakness, in a moment of complete manipulation of your ego, on your mind and your heart, you gave them a name. You called them the problem. You called them the challenge. You called them the enemy. You called them what is holding you back. 
You define them as fear that you suddenly have that you never had before. So he taught me that day one of the most valuable lessons in my life. That every problem you think you have, every challenge you think is holding you back from reaching your destination of financial freedom, every person that you think is a hurdle, who is um, giving you a hard time, who's slowing you down or distracting you, you empowered them to slow you down. They existed your whole life, all right? All these challenges were always there. Suddenly, how come it became a challenge? How come it became a problem? Because you yourself gave it a name, empowered it to slow you down. And that was the day I realized that every challenge I had, every problem I had was a choice I made to empower it to become a problem. I chose to complain about something. I chose to empower something that was slowing me down. It was always there. It reminds me of the story of two children, all right, who experienced two different things. And one came back with joy and one came back with sadness. I told this story many times. So it's a true story. A group of psychiatrists or psychologists or psychiatrists created an experiment. They had a room, two rooms. One room was full of toys. Every potential toy toy a child would like, a boy, okay? And another room was full of hay and horse, horse dung, right? So they put the first boy, little boy, in the room full of toys, right? The boy was so happy, laughing, screaming with joy, and started playing. But after a while, the child started to complain about the toys, that he wanted a different color car, He didn't like the helicopter or the aeroplane or the teddy bear. And he started to complain even though he was surrounded by every potential toy you could dream about. And then they took another boy and put in the room with hay or grass and like a barn with horse everywhere. And that boy was running around giggling, laughing, pushing the hay, looking behind the hay, running in the horse with the smell and was so freaking excited. And they interviewed the boy after the experiment and said, why were you excited? And the little boy said, I saw everything. I saw the horse. I saw the hay. I saw the bun. There must be a pony somewhere here. So I was excited looking for the pony. So two people experiencing something decided to empower their environment differently. One had a perfect environment but empowered that environment to be a challenge, to be a problem, something they could complain about every single day. And another kid was in the worst environment, smelly, a hot everywhere with hay, and he decided to empower the environment as something positive, something possible, that there was a pony there. And I decided to be the boy in the barn with hot and hay, And know that there's financial freedom somewhere. And many of you are in the perfect environment. Good upline. Good support. Manchester City. QI Tower. QIU. The greatest uplines. Japa and Dato Sri Vijay. Ishwaran. The highest paying complaint. The best products in the world. 25 years of positive legacy. And you still think you can't make it. And you complain every single day of your lack of success. That's a choice you make. So don't empower your environment negatively. No matter what you're going through, empower your environment positively that this environment will still allow you to max out. Because I have people in perfect markets who struggle to max out. And I have people in the toughest markets in the world with negativity from the government, from media, who still choose to max out every week. It's a choice we make on how we look at the cards that have been dealt to us by the master plan. All right? I real, still remember this, this discussion I was having in Kuna and others, and everyone was talking about their problems. And Kuna told me a long time ago, he said, all right, if everyone puts their problems on the table, 
you will be the first person to take your problem back and tell God, thank you, I have such a beautiful life and be grateful for everything you have. Are you guys with me? Don't empower your enemies. Don't empower negativity. Don't empower challenges. Don't empower anything. Because all through that that's surrounding you, there is a pony somewhere. And that pony is max out. That pony is success. That pony is for you to go up on stage, inshallah, one day at VCon as an AVP, as a V counsel, as a V partner and tell your story. You decide your fate. Right? The master plan has brought QNET into your hand. Right? This means you are destined to be max out. And what is going to decide your time to max out is how you empower your journey, how you empower your environment, how you empower everything that surrounds you. If you empower it with positivity, with the right mindset, your journey to max out will be beautiful. If you empower all everything and call it a problem, call it a challenge, call it negative, think negative, talk negative, gossip negative, complain, 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 you will never reach max out. So what is the answer you seek? The ultimate answer, what decides your faith in QNET? What decides whether you max out in QNET? What decides whether you become a VC, AVP, V partner, max out king or queen? Is not your environment. Is not the market you build. Is not the products you promote. Is not the comp plan. Is not anything to do with that. That's all there. What decides the outcome of your journey is how you look at your journey. How you look at your environment, it's your attitude, your choice, your outlook. So anyone who signs up, as long as you are in IR watching my Wednesday message and you have a tracking center, you have the equal opportunity like me, like Arun, Atli, Sati, David, all the V partners to become the greatest max out king or queen. The choice is yours. So stop looking around. Stop empowering all the bull sugar around you. Focus on yourself. You are the answer. Within you, you have limitless potential, unbelievable power. You have all the answers you seek. You are the greatest miracle. You were born for success. You were born for greatness. Don't allow the distractions of the world. Don't empower the horse and everything else. Look for the pony. Even if you are surrounded with in a barn, all right, where there is there is a pony. Where there is challenges, there is max out. Where there is people who laugh at you, there is max out. Where there is negative articles, there is max out. Where there are people trying to stop you, there is max out. Just keep looking for it. Don't switch off. Don't stop. Don't slow down. Don't empower the morons. Don't empower the challenges. Don't empower the negativity. Empower yourself. Because within you, there is a max out king or queen. All you have to do is let it out and it will happen. Are you guys with me? I love you guys. And I'll see you at VCon Unstoppable in a few weeks.